Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you change your DNS server, that is domain name servers inside HostGator. So in this example, let's assume that I have taken a domain from HostGator.com and I have taken the hosting service as well from HostGator.com. So it's the same company through which I have purchased my domain and I have purchased my hosting space as well. So you might be wondering that if it is the same company, then why should I be changing the domain name servers? Because they might be pointing it to the same location. And that is what I actually thought. But this is the first time I purchased my domain and hosting uh, after a long while from hostgator.com and I actually forgot to do that. So what happened, let's say I purchased this domain uh, just now, succeedwithpratik.com, all right? Succeedwithpratik.com, that is the domain which I have purchased right now. And what I was doing is I simply redirected it to a page which is like this. So when somebody goes to succeedwithpratik.com, they'll come to this page wherein they will be asked to follow their passion. All right. Uh, so it's all about doing what you love and following your passion to build your online business and uh, live your dream and listen to your heart. So uh, this is where I want them to redirect when they go to succeedwithpratik.com. But what happened when I um, purchased this domain from the same company from which I have purchased my domain? and the hosting i thought that it would be redirected automatically after changing a couple of things in the cpanel all right so i have successfully redirected it from my cpanel as well uh, however i was getting this error when i am pressing succeed with prateek.com it said that please configure your name, domain name servers so that this is where i came to know that by default even though it is the same company by default the name servers for me were ns1.hostgator.com and ns2.hostgator.com ns2.hostgator.com so i had to log in inside my uh, billing platform or my hosting platform so i'll just click over here and uh, there you go this is the domain which i have recently purchased from hostgator.com so i click on this domain and i have to get my domain name servers so i click on name servers and I'll select my hosting package which I have, which is the baby plan. I have the baby plan, that's the reason why I'm able to host multiple domains uh, inside one single account. So this is the domain name servers which are there for my hosting space, not the NS1. So these are the domain name servers. If you are not having these, then you might have received the email in which you might have your hosting domain name servers while you might have hosted your first ever domain in your baby plan. So this was the first ever domain 2016 is the best year.com on which I had posted the first ever time my baby plan. So now I have a couple of domains, but I always used to purchase it from GoDaddy and then I used to change the name, domain name servers. This is the first time I purchased it from hostgitter.com themselves. And I came to know that even I have to update the uh, domain name servers over here. So I'll now click on save name servers. So I have already done that before I was recording this video. So that's the reason why it says the name servers are the same as those on record. So I've already done that. You can see that on the overview section over here. Uh, so I've already done that. And that's the reason why I came to know and I always wanted to share this value with the people. So I quickly recorded this quick little video. Hope you guys had insight. So make sure if you are purchasing your domain and hosting from the same platform, then also uh, you might be required to change the domain name servers or in other words, you might be able to or you might need to update your name servers so that's it for this video guys uh, let me see if uh, it has updated or not because after you update your domain name servers it takes a couple of uh, hours maybe or maybe a couple of time so it's still not there because that is known as a propagation delay so don't worry once you update your name servers it would be done uh, within a couple of minutes or maybe a couple of hours because it takes time that is what is known as propagation delay so that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video do subscribe to my channel and keep yourself up to date with all the digital marketing tips uh, you can click on this link uh, which is right over here uh, and you can subscribe to my blog as well and you can get daily updates on my blog that's it for this video see you in the next video till then take care bye bye and stay awesome as always